Six years old, six foot six, two forty one, with an eighty one inch reach, squaring off against the thirty five year old out of Romania. For the glory main event of the night, the heavyweight bout, the battle of the giants. This is what you have been waiting for, glory fans from all over the world. Are you ready? Three rounds of three minutes. Introducing first our fighter from the black corner. He holds a professional record of 34 wins, six losses, and 19 by KO. His height is 6.60, 198 centimeters long. His weight, 258.2 pounds, 170.1 kilograms. Representing Romania and the winner of three glory contender tournaments. Introducing Mr. Gentleman. Benjamin Adekbui! And his opponent, he holds a professional record of 106 wins, 14 losses, 92 by knockout. His height, 6.6 .6 feet and 198 centimeters long. His weight is 241 pounds and 109.3 kilograms. Representing Morocco and former K1 heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, make way for the General of the Butter Army, introducing Butter! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds of three yeah, minutes man, and the referee in charge of this main event is Mr. Edward Stryker from Wacko, Netherlands. Three rounds, three minutes. Listen, always do my commands, protect yourselves at all times. When you say stop a break, you do one step back. Any questions? No, no questions. Touch gloves if you want. I'm going to knock Bader Hari out. When we told Bader that, he says, that's so disrespectful, mark my words, I will smash him, I will destroy him. Here we go, three rounds, heavyweight division, Bader Hari and Benjamin Adekbui. And right away, Bader takes the center of the ring. He's gonna pressure, ready with that power jab. Right. Stand up. Now remember, that was the same kick that injured Bader against Rico. There we go. Benny already Outside. trying to use the low kicks, which I think is a good strategy here. Botter goes down again Punch. in a heap. That'll take a lot out of you. Oh, good body shot with the right hand by Botter. And true to form, Benjamin's standing right in front of him. Yep, he's got to control the distance, whether it's in the clinch or outside. He just can't sit in that mid-range with Botter. So there he's investing in the low kicks. High guard defense, chop the legs. There's that weathering of the early storm. Oh, right hand by Benjamin Adi right. Bowie. Right, right out. Are you okay? Uh, There's a headbutt, I believe. Okay. Watch out, eh? Excellent. Fight. So we continue. High kick from Adi Bowie. Straight right hand to the gut. Yeah, that boy clipped Botter yeah, with that, that left. That might have hurt Botter, you're right, Joe. Yeah, Botter had to retreat a little bit, take a couple seconds. <laughs> yeah, back to those low kicks for Attic Boy. Botter already said this would be easy work. It has not been easy work so far. As Attic Boy tries to take advantage, left hook connects for Botter. Attic Boy showing good defense. How about Attic Boy pushing forward and providing the pressure? I like it. I mean, it's very strong defense. I mean, I like the way that he's able to sit in that pocket and defend Botter's power and then just keep chopping away and mix together good punch kick combination. Look at Attic Boy with a right hand. A big swing. Botter goes down. I believe that's the third time he's been on the canvas. Obviously, they're not knockdowns, but not a good sign. And the same thing with Benny getting so comfortable that he's even switching stances in this first round. Usually when you go to your opposite stance, you're, you're worried about punches, but Attic Bowie's not worried about that bottom power. Close first round. Honest with his defense. Some of them just slipping, but not landing clean. And he was able to keep that high guard, yeah, the head neck. 
No, look at that. Attic boy hits the shot, rolls, but Clip Botter's chin. Go for three. We do have open scoring. Be interesting to see how that first round went. Yeah, I'm really liking these Attic boy low kicks. They're sneaky, they're landing. One leg kick for Botter, 11 for Adek Bowie. Yeah, 100% land ratio. He's setting them up well with his punches. Again to the body. And a chopping leg kick sends Benny down. And Botter attacked that plant leg. Attic Boy doing a good job mixing his punches and his kicks together where Botter's favoring his power punches. First round, two judges give it to Botter, one to Attic Bowie. Oh. Oh, straight right hand. Benny walked right into it. Yeah, that Botter right hand is something special. What? Then he had a boy, man, sitting in the pocket, still throwing back, mixing his kicks. He's fighting well, but Potter seemed to show his experience a little bit more in the second round. It's slowing down slightly. But that's the smart move, that's the experience. This is him setting up his punches, not wasting energy for knockout punches. Then he's getting a little gun shot, it looks like. Yep, still picking away though, still finding his shots. I mean, watching pre-fight tape on both of these guys, I thought a good shot for Attic Boy was the right uppercut. When Rico fought Botter, Rico's second round was a lot of good uppercuts against Botter, so I'm sure Attic Boy's been looking at that. Botter, oh, that, that rocked on you, Boy! He's off balance and he's yeah. down! As I... Everything was going well for Onik Bowie, but now it's code red time. Here comes Potter looking for the finish. Yeah, and even through the card, I mean, Potter's power is that much. Oh, and he's unleashing. Trying to find an entry into that shell. Caught him with a left hook. Benny's got 20 seconds to survive. Potter throwing in combinations. That's the key. And he will survive round number two. A little bit more selective, used his jabs to set up the shot. So that was definitely a more intelligent, strategic round for Botter. Really trying to set up that right hand now. He's using the jab to do it. And especially versus, you know, Attic Boy's kicks. When people tend to kick, they leave their chin a little high. And that's where Botter's trying to capitalize. You see, what I love about Botter's style is if he hits you once, he doesn't admire it. Man. Whoa, and he got caught! He got caught by Benny! And now Botter's holding on! Botter is holding on! Oh, is that, is ref gonna call that a knockdown. Stand up! That should be a knockdown. Two! That is a knockdown! Four! Five! Six! Seven! Eight! So here we go! Fight! Who would have thought this? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's injury time, it looks like. That'll be another knockdown. That's another one, yeah. It Two. is. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, Botter's not getting eight, up. Nine. He doesn't seven. get up. And Benjamin Otting Bowie against all the odds has beaten and finished Botter Hunley. He sat there. He got knocked down in that second round. And to come back in that third round to do that, that just shows when Southpaw, this is his opposite stance, lands a right hook, and then just goes right after for that finish. I mean, it was a knockdown because Bonner was trying to hold himself up. I mean, those big shots from a big man, they don't have to land clean. As they could just skip off your head, your hit your temple. 
That's a lot of weight behind those punches. And it looks like Bonner probably has a broken nose, Joe. And I think it was from that southpaw hook that may have broke the nose, but like... Man. Attic boy. Great.